panelists and the speakers and the seniors in the audience and uh, dear friends ladies and gentlemen a very good afternoon and namaskar uh, the topics of uh, process safety management and operational excellence uh, they are the most relevant uh, uh, topics that uh, that can be on the back end when we are talking of uh, like in the previous uh, session we were talking about petrochemicals we were talking about uh, ms maximization we are talking about even petrochemical recycling polymer recycling these are the uh, front ends but at the back end when uh, refinery operations and petrochemical operations and cracker operations have to uh, deliver they are based on these uh, tenets of uh, operational excellence and uh, process safety management process safety management as i don't want to repeat that how it started Uh, because uh, uh, because of the accidents that have taken place in industry some of them in uh, india and some of them abroad the bhopal is the uh, first one that comes into uh, into mind and that was a typical uh, process safety management failure then uh, there were other like piper alpha that was uh, uh, the offshore rig uh, that happened the way back that was also a typical process safety management failure we can go on discussing on these then we have uh, bp texas uh, that uh, isomer or splitter uh, uh, splitter column overflow that was also a typical uh, process safety uh, management failure and this is how uh, these incidents have uh, given the impetus to the subject of process safety management process safety management is nothing but we have to uh, do what we are profess whatever we are in whatever i have seen that all good things are there in our manuals all good things are there in our sops but the focus the leadership has to take the challenge the leadership has to uh, has to take the has to have the authority and they have to take the responsibility and they have to be respond they have to be accountable for that then only we can think of uh, a, uh, a good uh, uh, application of process safety management in a, in a system there should be a clear understanding of uh, any major accident risks that are available that are there in the process we can't rely on only a safety wall or a or a relief wall or a uh, or a uh, or a psv or a stopping system where we shut down wall which will cut off the field we can't uh, we can't rely on that we have to have a clear understanding and that goes uh, starting from the drawing board itself when we are at the drawing board when we are at the designing stage then only we have to see the hazards then only we have to do the due diligence not only in the commercial terms but in the safety terms also so that is how uh, i understand of process safety and i think uh, during this process we will be much richer when we move forward uh, 